Hi there, my name is Diane, but you can just call me D. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to do the TBR book tag. So TBR stands for to be read, so the books that you want to read. It's very much a booktube concept to have a TBR. When I was unaware of booktube, I don't think I ever had a list of books that I would want to read each month. I don't think I would follow releases as closely or at all actually. I would be more aware of classics that I would want to read and maybe the books that made a lot of buzz. But on booktube, TBRs are super common and it's really fun when you're in this community to see what people want to read. Alright, I'm back. I really wanted to put this pink wristband on my watch because I was in pink today. Anyway, so let's start. There are quite a few questions. The first one is how do you keep track of your TBR pile? So now that I am in the booktube world, I have a Goodreads account. It's an online platform where you can have virtual shelves and then you can add your books to those shelves and you have a want to read shelf or you can make it your own. So I keep most of the books that are on my radar like that. I have created a shelf that is solely for new releases of that year that I want to have on my radar. I'm also doing a reorganization of those shelves actually. I have a whole playlist that I will link above and down below where I go through all the virtual TBR shelves that I have and instead of having them by genres, I classify them by priority, so my high, medium or low priority. I think that would be easier because I was just creating so much shelves on there that I, in the end it was just not useful to me, so hopefully this will help. So that's how I do it. I also have a little section on my other desk of all the books that are either recent gifts or that are from my library. So I put them all there and it's sort of my TBR, my physical TBR shelf that I guess is immediate. So that's how I do it. Next question, is your TBR mostly print or ebook? I would say now that I'm able to go and get books from my library, it's probably mostly print because I really enjoy the experience of reading a book physically. I do have an e-reader, it's a Kobo and I like it a lot, but this would be more for my ARCs, my advanced reader copies that I have, or the books that I just can't find anywhere physically. Next question, how do you determine which book from your TBR to read next? Well, like I said, I get my books from the library, so I have to look at when they are due and I'll start with the ones that are more pressing. I am a mood reader, so if I there's no books I want to read that's on my TBR, I just will scrap it all and I'll just get new books. How I put books on my TBR, I would say it depends on if they are new releases, if they are a new book in a series, that I have to continue um, or if they are arcs that I get from NetGalley so I would prioritize those first or if I just really, really want to read the book a book that has been on your TBR list the longest Ooh, um, on my physical shelf? maybe the bell jar, I don't, I don't really know I'll go on Goodreads to check that so I've got 360 books on my want to read shelf on Goodreads, so that's a lot. I guess I added a bunch of them at once. It's a lot of classics. There's Sense and, and Sensibility by uh, Jane Austen. That's the oldest book I've added, I guess, to this shelf. The next one the, that I added that is not within the same day is Are We Smarter Enough to Know How Smart Animals Are by Franz De Waal. I still want to read that one. So. so the Sense and Sensibility was added in November 25th, 2016. And Are We Smart Enough to Know How Smart Animals Are was added in December 13, 2016. 
couple of years there not too bad i guess that's when i really started getting back into reading so that's cool a book you recently added to your tbr so let's see what is the newest book here it's under the whispering door by tj clune of course i'm so excited about this release so i really really hope i can get my hands on it soon i added this one in july 16 2021 but that's not correct. Although it's been on my radar for the whole time it's been announced. So I'm not sure if I just forgot to add it or what happened there. I got a lot, a lot of books. I got a lot of books to read. A book in your TBR strictly because of its beautiful cover. Uh, there are quite a few, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell because I think each book that I add to my TBR, yes, the cover is a big deal to me, but if there's not an element in the synopsis that intrigues me, then there's no point adding it. I'm getting better at that. So I would say it's pretty rare that I would have a book like that. Plus now I'm hearing people talk about books and if what they say sounds interesting then I'll add them so it's not just based on the cover. I think before I did get a few books that I didn't necessarily know much about it so maybe this one it's Lark Rising by Sandra Oak. Oh I'm not sure how to pronounce it and I thought it was pretty cute. Woo! I mean this is amazing. A book on UTBR that you never plan on reading that has to be a a classic. Of course I change my mind as I grow and evolve and my taste change also so maybe I'll forget to remove a book that I'm not interested in anymore but I th now that I'm going back through my shelves on Goodreads and reorganizing I think I'm doing that. I mean maybe The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I'm not necessarily intrigued by it or even the other book that always make me think it's the same author but it's not um, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, I think. I think those two books, I know there's a lot of hype about them, but I'm just not intrigued by them. So it could be because of the hype. Sometimes it does that to me where if there's so much hype about a book, I'll just push it aside. Like I'll add it, but then I'll be like, I actually don't want to read it. <laughs> And then later on, maybe like years later, I get to it. I also really want to read My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell, but it's such a difficult topic that I don't know when, if ever, I'd be in the mood for it. So, An unpublished book on your TBR that you're excited for. There are a lot. I've actually said a lot of uh, new releases I'm excited for in my mid-year book freakout tag, which I'll link it here and down below. There's one, it is untitled, but the cover picture is Gay Titanic in Space, and it's by Eden Thomas, and its release date is supposed to be in 2024, so that would be the book I am. I would be so excited about. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what the story is about, but it just sounds so good already. Otherwise, there's The Book of the Night by Holly Black. I know I'm supposed to pick one, but I can never pick one. So the books by Holly Black is supposed to be published May 3rd, 2022. Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo sounds like a really gripping story. And it comes out the September 28th, 2021. So I'm pretty excited about those. A book on your TBR that basically everyone's read but you. I mean, I guess Golden Sun could be could be one because it's the second book in the Red Rising saga. A lot of people have read at least the first three books. This year I've been quite good at reading books that had a lot of hype in the past few years. Uh, so I was able to catch up in a few big names. Wow, okay. In terms of fantasy, I would probably say The Wheel of Time because I have the book, I haven't started, but if you are an adult fantasy lover... Oh my gosh, excuse me. If you're a fantasy lover, you probably have tried it, so maybe that one? Okay, my neighbor is getting his heater fixed, so... Great, love that.
Shaking my whole apartment. Maybe Cir Circe by Madeline Miller. A lot of people have read this book, but I really want to read The Song of Achilles first, which I do have physically before I read this one, but I haven't, I just haven't yet, so yeah. A book on your TBR that everyone recommends to you. Um, I mean, I don't really have people recommending books to me. I guess maybe my sister has recommended me to read Octavia E. Butler because she did her whole thesis on it. I definitely want to read her books, I just don't know when it's gonna happen yet. A book on your TBR that you're dying to read? So The Witch King by H.E. Edmond. I am dying to read this story. It sounds so epic. I just really want to read that one. And how many books are on your TBR shelf? Uh, way too many to count. I can tell you because I've got physical shelves, I've got virtual shelves online, I've got shelves on my library, I've got just, it, there's so many. There's, it's definitely more than a hundred, it's definitely more than it's definitely more than a hundred, so for sure. I mean, like I said, I have on my Goodreads shelf want to read, I already have 360 so it must be around 500 like if you combine everything it must be 500 maybe something like that i don't know i don't want to know because i will never stop wanting to read books because people are publishing them and they are backlist books and i'm just excited about all books so it doesn't really i don't really care it doesn't really matter to me that's it for this video let me know if you have a tbr usually and how this all works for you what is the most recent book you have been wanting to read also that'd be really interesting for me to know if you like this type of video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of those thank you so much for watching